guys welcome back to abg spoken english classes dear students today we are going to discuss the question answers of the lesson number 3 heat the first question is state similarities and difference between the laboratory th thermometer and clinical thermometer in this question they are going to ask you a question that the difference between the laboratory thermometer and clinical thermometer and first we see the similarities after that we go to discuss the thermometer uh, differences first one similarities both thermometers consist of long narrow uniform glass tubes this is a similarity we can see and second one both have a bulb at one end and third one both contain mercury in bulb so the content which include in the bulb that is the mercury and next fourth one both use celsius scale on the glass tube and we count the heat by celsius in the glass tube next we go to see the differences the first one is a clinical thermometer reads temperature 35 degree celsius while the range of laboratory thermometer is uh, 10 to 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius it is little bigger celsius it counts and the second one clinical thermometer has a kink near a bulb while there is no kink in the laboratory thermometer due to the kink mercury does not fall down on its own in clinical thermometer and question number 2 give two examples each of conductors and uh, insulators of heat conductors aluminum iron and uh, insulators plastic and wood and question number 3 fill in the blanks the hotness of an object is determined by its temperature the temperature of boiling water can't be measured by a clinical thermometer temperature is measured in degree celsius no medium is required for transfer of heat by the process of radiation a cold steel spoon is dipped in a cup of hot milk it transfer heat to its other end by the process of conductor next we go to see the fifth one clothes of dark colors absorb heat better than clothes of light colors match the following a and b land breeze blows during night sea breeze blows during day dark colored clothes are prepared during winter light colored clothes are prepared during summer next question number 5 discuss why wearing more layer of clothing during winter keeps us warmer than wearing just one thick piece of clothing here more layer of clothing keep us warm in winters as they have lot of space between them this space gets filled up with air air is a bad conductor it does not allow the body heat to escape out question number 6 look at the figure 456 mark where the heat is being transferred by conductor by convection and by radiation next question number 7 in places of hot climate it is advised that the outer wall walls of the houses be painted white explain in spaces of hot climate it is advised that the outer wall of house be painted because white color reflects heat and the houses do not heat up too much question number 8 one liter of water at 30 degree celsius is mixed with one liter of water at 50 degree celsius 
the temperature of the mixture will be 80 degree celsius more than 50 degree but less than 80 degree 20 degree celsius between 30 to 50 degree so the answer is between 30 to 50 degree question number 10 a wooden spoon is dipped in a cup of ice cream its other end becomes cold by the process of conductor become cold by the process of convection become the cold by the process of radiation does not become cold the answer is d does not become cold question number 11 stainless steel plants are usually provided with a copper bottom the reason for this could be that copper bottom makes the hair more durable such a, as a pure colorful copper is better conductor of heat than the stainless steel copper is easier to clean than the stainless steel the correct answer is copper is a better conductor of heat than the stainless steel so dear students please subscribe the channel if you like the video please click, click on the like button and if you are having any comment please uh, know me below the comment section thank you thank you for watching